Here, Joel, can you get rid of this food for me, please? It's raining outside, so we need to find some adventure indoors today. Yes, you saw that correct. Joel just threw a banana and some other food waste into our toilet. One of the first things that people notice when they come to our house is our toilets. And they'll say, what's wrong with your toilet? And we ask, what's wrong with your toilet? Here's how they work. Your toilet uses about 30% of the water in your house just to flush waste down through small holes out into a sewage or septic system. That's a lot of water usage just to remove poop from your house. Number two problem with your toilet, pun intended, is clogging. This is not a fun subject, but if you want to ever have Drax over to your house, <laughs> I have famously huge turds. You can't be pushing a large object through a small hole. Number three, it stinks. Whoever invented this system was insane. The, most houses have a fan above you that literally pulls the smell from the waste right into your nose and face. That doesn't make any sense. So here's how our toilet works. It's a composting toilet. It's gravity fed, no water. So there's a large hole that means there's no clogging. Everything falls down into large bins in the basement where it's composted. Again, no water, no clogging. And third, and the, our favorite, is there's no smell. The fan is actually installed in the basement and pulls all the air down through the toilet, never past your face. So literally, our stuff doesn't stink. This is one of the two toilets in our house. When people come over, I often have to give them instructions and the instructions are pretty simple. You lift the lid, do your business, close the lid. The only real difference is that you don't have to flush. This is the downstairs part of our toilets. This is the big bin where all the waste go. You can use this thing to stir it up to get oxygen down to the bottom to help decomposing and you can use this to get all the liquids at the bottom up to the top to filter through again. And then all the air and smells are sucked through that too so it doesn't smell. This system works great. Um, we just want to add a few new features to it. Long term I want to automate the stirring and the adding of wood chips. Um, to do that we're going to add an electronic system uh, and today it's going to be all about the fun side of that. We're going to add an electronic system that can detect usage. We can detect when someone's on the toilet. Uh, we have a toilet that comes down into a composter like this and then on a weekly basis we have to add wood chips. What I want is the ability to uh, detect usage and add a little bit of wood chips every time someone uses the toilet. So to do that uh, we're gonna, we got some electronics. We have an Arduino Uno board that we're gonna hook up to a PIR sensor. So this detects movement. So this will detect when objects are falling uh, and tell the Arduino board. And then the Arduino board could turn on an engine to, you know, uh, an auger type engine to dump in wood chips. Um, or in today's case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little fun uh, and it'll use a separate board to be able to play uh, sounds over a speaker. So our goal for today is going to be detect usage and then have a speaker system down here that says different voices back up to the user. What kind of noises are we gonna do, guys? Thanks for the snack. Play hit me with your- I'll play the song, hit me with your best shot. Yep. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect the MP3 shield uh, to the top of the Uno. We've cut the connectors and have them in place and now Ephraim and Joel uh, just need to do a lot of soldering to attach the two together.
All right, I think we have the shield soldered on. Now we're going to uh, take the motion sensor and we're just gonna directly solder it onto the shield uh, instead of using a breadboard, which would just get too big and bulky. Jeffrey's now attaching the uh, two speakers to the MP3 shield so that we can uh, play nice loud sound effects. All right, our hardware is all done. We have a motion sensor over here that will detect motion, tell the Arduino Uno underneath, which will then use the uh, MP3 shield to play through the speakers, uh, the sound effects that we want. Uh, this is the hardware, like I can touch it, it's hardware. Uh, now we're gonna go over to the computer and work on the software. When you're ready, hit the record button. Thanks for the sample. Your test results will be ready in 10 days. All right, I'm not gonna get too technical here. Basically the software is gonna read from our sensor and say, is there motion? If there's motion, and I didn't know about it prior, I'm gonna play uh, a file. And that file is gonna contain audio that Joel and Ephraim recorded earlier. Uh, and hopefully it's funny. Okay, we have it all set up now. Uh, it's a little bit hard to show you because we have to keep this YouTube channel rated G. So Caleb's gonna do a demonstration, kind of a simulation here. Daddy, what happens if I drop Joel's turn? Do not drop it. All right, show them the sample. Awesome. All right, now, when Caleb does his business, go ahead. Whoa, watch it up there. <laughs> this video may not be our best, but it sure is a solid number two. If you have funny ideas for things we should play when people use our toilets, put it in the comments. We want to hear them. We need no more ideas. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed. Tell your friends and subscribe. And remember, summer flies. Don't forget to check for ticks. Mm. Looks like you need to add all the fun we did, Dyer. <laughs> Messed it again.